A Message from Holly is a really beautiful film with some really emotionally challenging scenes. It's not, definitely not an easy film to watch, but it's absolutely worth it. There are some frustrating moments, particularly with the way Holly was behaving, but I don't know if that's actually typical of how somebody in her situation might behave. So while it was frustrating to watch, I can understand perhaps to some degree, why she was behaving the way she was. And I'll discuss what I mean by that without giving any spoilers. It's not really a film that one could spoil, to be honest. Once you get the basic premise, that's all there really is to it in terms of the specifics. It's more about just observing the journey. This was released in 1992. It's directed by Rod Holcomb, written by Beth Paulson and Delane Young. And it stars Lindsay Wagner as Holly, Shelley Long as Kate, and Molly Orr as Jenny. And Holly finds out that she's got six months to live, terminal cancer, and she asks her best friend, Kate, to look after her daughter, Jenny. And this is despite the fact that Holly does actually have a family. She's got her parents and her her siblings, but she doesn't really want Jenny to be raised by them because she had a very strict upbringing. And she thinks that Kate, Shelley Long's character, will give her unconditional love and the freedom to grow into the person she wants to be. But there are some scenes where her family struggle to understand why they'd want Jenny to go to, as they see her, a stranger. And most of the film is basically about them preparing and Kate learning to be there for Jenny because she is a, a workaholic with no experience with children and she's very concerned and doesn't know if Holly's made the right decision but she's determined to step up for her best friend and be there for Jenny and we begin to see see Kate spending more time with Jenny and slightly stepping into the mother's role when Holly is not strong enough to do various things. And it's it's very moving uh, and very, very emotional, particularly the scenes with Jenny, whenever Jenny is asking questions about what, what it'll be like when her mother's no longer around. And those scenes are so difficult, so emotionally difficult to watch, but they're so well done. Some of it is frustrating. As I said, Holly isn't exactly making a lot of sense with her behaviour, but as I said, it could be an accurate representation of how one might respond to the situation. I don't know. I've thankfully never been in Holly's shoes. But without spoiling too much, she starts to get angry at Kate because Kate will be there to watch Jenny grow and she won't. Even though it's Kate, she's asked to look after Jenny. And in the same sentence... She's getting angry at her, but refusing to take her daughter trick-or-treating. So she's getting annoyed that she won't be there to watch her daughter grow up, but she is refusing to do things with her daughter now while she still has the time. And I found that to be so frustrating and really annoying. And the reason she's not wanting to be there with her is not because she doesn't feel well or she doesn't have the energy, which would make perfect sense. It's because she's trying to finish an art project before she goes. And yes, there is uh, an emotional reason. I won't say exactly what she's working on, but it is a a very much emotion-driven project. But she's prioritizing finishing the project over spending time with her daughter. And there are scenes where Jenny is distressed and the scene with the tree, you'll know which scene I mean. She needed her mother and her mother was there and her mother refused. And that's so difficult to watch. And I really didn't like her. And I did not like Holly for a lot of this film because of the way she was behaving. But as I said, maybe that's accurate. Maybe that is an accurate representation of how a person would respond in that situation. I don't know. But it doesn't mean that it's easy to watch. Because it doesn't make sense when you're shouting at somebody because you're jealous, understandably jealous, that they're going to be able to watch your child grow up. And then when they say, let's go trick-or-treating, and you refuse to spend time with that very child, it just doesn't make any sense to me. And it's just so frustrating. So Holly is not a character I liked very much, but maybe it's not her fault. I don't know if anybody has any thoughts on that or any experience. 
spending time with somebody going through something similar, if they responded in a, a very similar, confusing, uh, very frustrating way, I'd be interested to know. I'd assume it's accurate because otherwise it would be a very strange way to write the character, to make the character unlikable if it's an unrealistic representation. So I I just don't like the character very much, but I don't know if it's her fault or if it's something that is, you know, just out of her control. I don't know. But my frustrations at Holly aside, it is a, a very good film. It's an emotional film. I think it does a great job of showing things from a lot of different people's perspectives, including Kate and Jenny, of course, and then Holly's family. And the teacher, the teacher was the most unreasonable character out of them all. I won't say what happens. I won't spoil the specifics. But the teacher, she's only in it very briefly, and she's there to explain something that Jenny did. But she annoyed me so much. She has no understanding or compassion whatsoever. So that was annoying. Um, yeah, it's not an easy watch for many reasons, but it's absolutely worth it. It's emotional. It's challenging in the right ways. Most of most of the time, it's challenging in the right ways. The performances are are really great and. I, I wouldn't watch it again because I think once once is enough. I don't really want to put myself through that again. It's not a film that is easy to watch. And if you're not feeling particularly strong, I would say wait until you're feeling a little less fragile. But if you feel like you're in the right frame of mind for this, or if you find that it could be quite a, a beneficial story for you to observe then A Message from Holly is one that I'd say is definitely worth watching.